I'm Christina Tozzi from Momofuku Milk Bar, and we're gonna make the crack pie. It's a really simple recipe. You bake off an oat cookie as a bar. It looks kind of just like a, your standard oatmeal cookie. You crumble it up. And because we're gonna sort of make this oat cookie into our pie crust, we need it to be a little more moist than this. So we add just a little bit of melted butter. We just give it a little extra brown sugar and a little extra kosher salt just to sort of keep the balance of flavors right. I think the amount of butter that we have in here looks just right. We can shape it into a ball. We're gonna take it and we're gonna divide it over two 10-inch pie shells. And now it's time to sort of mold the crust. So I like to start by sort of using my thumb and my forefinger and pinching the dough up the sides of the wall of the pie tin. And then once you get all the way around the end, all of this, the center that has not been pressed, I just like to use the palm of my hand and really get down in there with some weight and I just rotate the pie tin in a circular motion. Your hands are gonna get a little greasy, so don't, don't be fussy about it, it's totally fine. So there we go, I think we have a nice even crust. All right, so now it's time to make the crack pie filling. It's a buttery, sugary filling, so as you expect, we're gonna start with the sugars. We have a granulated sugar, light brown sugar, no fat milk powder, and then we use a little freeze-dried corn powder. We're just gonna mix them around just for a second. Nothing too fussy. And then to that, we're gonna add some melted butter, heavy cream, and a little bit of vanilla extract. All right, so once we have that, the last ingredient is egg yolks. So we've got one egg, two eggs. So we got the eighth egg yolk in there. And we're gonna turn our mixer up, but we're not gonna turn it up high. We're gonna keep it on that low speed because we're really thinking about deep, dense, rich decadence. So we don't wanna aerate this mixture. And we're just gonna let it go until we see those egg yolks disappear into the mixture. And then you just divide them evenly over two pies. So we'll throw them in the oven and set the timer. We want it to be gooey. It's sort of like a gooey butter pie. All right. So nice and golden brown, really glossy from all of that butter and sugar. I like to serve cracked pie cold, so if you know, give it an hour or two in the fridge and we just put a little confectioner sugar on top to dust it. And there you go the milk bar crack pie.